All right, my beautiful people, man. Good evening to you. Thanks so much for joining us. How are you doing today? Today, what's going on? ERGJ here, man. Um, just ready to rock and roll. Uh, we're not going to take a whole bunch of time with a, whole, a lot of introductions, but um, we will uh, give this uh, Facebook, Instagram thing just a little bit of time. Facebook and YouTube, just a little bit of time. I already tried to. One second. All right, we'll give it just a little bit of time to let you guys know that we're here. Um, and it's a special special presentation here tonight uh, because I'm going to do what most people would never do, uh, and that's really just <laughs> put it all out there because at the end of the day, what I found is that no matter how much you tell people, no matter how much you share, it's just only going to be certain people going to do something with it anyway, so it really don't matter. Uh, it really doesn't matter. Um, but tonight, we'll be sharing with you guys a little bit, not the whole full plan, but some of the plan that we have here for 2020. And then also uh, we have a special presentation. We have a member uh, that we'll be featuring uh, this evening as well. So I'm super excited about this brother and all the, all the progress he's made over the years. Uh, he's been uh, he's been a part of our club for quite some time, and uh, and he just continues to level up. And so tonight, I just want to be able to share with you guys openly, honestly, uh, and then for those that might have questions or anything like that, I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. But I really want you to understand that it's so important that you have a plan. Everybody put a council plan, that you have a plan. We'll break down a plan, what that really is, right? Uh, there's components to a plan. Uh, um, I think it starts with looking at where you are, right, where you currently are. I think it also includes a kind of looking at where you've been, how you got to where you are. But then the main component of it is to, is to map out or to figure out where you want to go and then map it out. And so uh, I believe that many of us, uh, we use New Year's, uh, this New Year time, this holiday time. We may use holiday time to reminisce, right? Uh, you know, we love on family and all that good stuff. We're reminiscing about the times that we've had, right? And then we move into the new year. And we start saying, okay, here's where I want to go. We cast the vision out. Many of us do vision boards and things like that. But I believe the component that is missing for many people is the plan on how to get there. And I consider it to be a plan of attack. And so I don't stop with just vision. I don't just I don't even stop with just plan. I don't stop until I complete. And that's execution. And so so many of us, we start with the vision. Oh, it just it looks good. Oh, yeah. One day it'll happen. We think for some reason it's just one day it'll happen. That's not how things really work. Right. It happens when you make it happen. It happens when you really put energy into it. That's when it really happens. Uh, but, you know, we've been coaxed to believe, oh, it, it's just timing. And I tell you. Uh, one of the main excuses that I found for procrastination is to say something like this, all in God's timing, as if you're waiting on God, when really the reality is God's waiting on you. But that's just a convenient way of saying, I don't want to do it right now. It's just not, it's all in God's timing. Well, God said, man, I'll give you the desires of your heart. The question is, do you really want it? And so, uh, you know, I can go, I'm going to go on and on and on, but I'm really going to try to be, 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 keep my composure down and get through this thing because it's a vast plan that we have uh, for 2020. Hey, y'all know what time it is, man. Hit the like button, the share button, all that stuff. This is an opportunity for your people who are connected to you to, to really see what's really going on in the BBC. Uh, it's going to be a two-hour packed. Man, I'm going to be giving y'all ideas. Some of y'all going to get rich tonight. Some of y'all, most of y'all not because... What happens is when it's out there, you're just like, oh, that ain't for me. For some reason, I don't know. But that's just how life is. And we just continue to move forward with those who want to move forward with us. New Black Wall Street is presenting to you tonight uh, the Get Rich 2020 plan uh, that uh, that God has given me for those that want to go along this path. It's plenty of ways to get rich. This is just one, two, three, four, five of them. But we got 99 problems, but being broke ain't one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what time it is, man? New Black Wall Street, Mr. DJ, hit. The music. The new Black Wall Street. Do it right, be a wealth, live life, economic empowerment, real tips, insight on um, the new Black Wall Street. Yeah, yeah. It's on the new Black Wall Street. It's your host. 
I know that's right, Glass. Thanks so much, man. YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Thanks so much for joining us. Good evening to you, man. While you guys are connecting, go ahead and let's say hello. Let us know where you're connecting from, what city, what state, what country, what city, what state, what country you might be connecting from here as we're broadcasting across the World Wide Web, uh, across the World Wide Web to Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And if we're out of here, out of, out of, out of, <laughs> we're out of, we're out of Decatur, Georgia, where Decatur where is greater is our virtual studio. Miss Jennifer Almano, thanks so much for joining us here tonight. Thanks so much for being here. Miss AV knows in the house. Thanks so much for joining here. Miss Tamiki Jones is up in the house. Miss Vivian Reed, thanks so much for being here as well. Miss Gladys Sato, uh, thanks so much for being here as well. I'm your host, ERGJ, your certified financial educator, CEO of ERGJ Enterprises, ERGJ Black Bazaar, and international best selling author of the book, The Black Billionaire Club. Uh, the Black Billionaire Club is a study of black wealth, it's a study of the 12 richest black people in the world today and how they built their wealth. And I just truly believe that if you want to be wealthy, you should study wealthy people. Now, here's the deal, guys. You're going to be like that which you study. And I, so I know I see Gladys here. She studied catering, and she's a she's a chef. That's what she's been studying. Uh, AV, I think you were into, oh, you are doing painting and stuff like that, I believe. And you become a painter, great painter, and canvas, and all that stuff, right? Uh, and, you know, Jennifer, uh, sales and, 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 uh, and fragrances and things like that, that's what you've been studying. Right, that's cool. Uh, Tamika, you've been studying doing uh, your graphics and, and digital prints and, and all that stuff with the computer and all that good stuff. That's what you've been studying. But here's the thing, guys. Regardless of all those different things that we've studied in order to acquire skills in order to pay the bills, at the end of the day, the thing that we're gonna all we all have in common is that we need money. But yet we not ne have not necessarily studied money. And that's what I teach to the children when they go into the school. Hey, regardless of what you choose to do, you're going to paint, are you going to sell, you're going to do web design, you, you, you know what I'm saying? You're going you're gonna to cook. It don't matter to me. Like, but at the end of the day, I, th I think it's important that you study money. Like money is a major, not a minor. And we give minor uh, attention to something that's major. That's a bad transition. We want to make, we're going to want to give major study, major attention to major things. Now, it's not that the other stuff is not major. I'm just saying all that stuff that we do, it still comes back to money and how we're going to manage it. Would you agree? Right? So, so this is a major topic. This is something we should all major in. Everybody put in comments low, major in money. So what I decided to do in my life, I said, well, hey, I was a minor in money. And I said, well, how can I graduate and become a major in money? Guess what I had to do? I had to start studying money. I had to start studying wealthy people. I started saying, man, I started noticing things that were different. And then I started studying wealthy black people because they look like me. Probably went through the same things that I went through. And so I decided I was going to write the book once I found out nobody else had written it, which I, was, I found quite amazing. I mean, it's 2017 at this point in time. 2,000 years have passed, almost 400 years past slavery. We got some billionaires that nobody wrote about. So I said, well, let me just compile this information, put this book together, and hopefully somewhere down the line, the legacy or whatever, there'll be some young buck says, wow, there were some people who looked like me in 2015, 17, 19, 20, uh, and they were rich. And if they could do it, I can do it, right? So if you want to be wealthy, Study wealthy people. Now, for me, guys, of course, you can pick up the book by simply going to the website, dblackbillionairesclub.com. That's right, dblackbillionairesclub.com. Uh, you can pick up the book, the ebook, and all that good stuff as well. But while you're there, I want you to see some other things as a part of that website. It's not just the book. It's a movement. And, and, and so that's what we're going to be talking about tonight, the movement, where we're moving to, where we're going as a club. If you're joining right now, you're already part of the BBC. Go and put in console hashtag BBC. And please, don't put it if you ain't joined. That's called faking the funk. And I'll call you out today because today it ain't about you faking the funk. Now, you can join and then you can come back and you put in BBC. But if you ain't really join and you just say, well, I want to act like I'm part of something. I want to I be a part of somebody by osmosis. That ain't how it works. But you go check out the website, dblackbeardersclub.com. Now, tonight I want to talk about the Get Rich Plan 2020. 
Uh, for those that don't know, um, the Black Billionaires Club has four different pillars, okay? Four different pillars that we abide by that are that that is the foundation of why we have created the group in the first place. And as I've studied wealthy people, as I studied black billionaires, I noticed that there were four particular areas that they were good at, that they specialized, that they studied, that they read about. And I said, well, hey, we may not ever meet these billionaires. But we can get to know their philosophy because how they think is how they got to it, how they think and then how they acted of, of what they thought is how they got to the level of success that they are at today. And so I said, well, what all I need to do is figure out how to figure out their mindset. Right. How many guys know it's the difference between a it's the difference between a hundred dollar mindset and a billion dollar mindset? There's a difference in how you think. Now, I call it your thermostat. Now, what's a thermostat? Well, a thermostat uh, regulates temperature, right? And so uh, when it gets too hot, the thermostat kicks in and it brings down the temperature so that it reaches the level that the thermostat is set at. And when it gets too cold, the thermostat kicks in, turns on the heat, and brings the temperature back to whatever it is regulated at. So it's a regulator. Well, what I understand is that your mindset, your money mindset is a regulator to the type of money you're going to earn. Now, here's the interesting thing. If you take someone that's broke and you give them money without an education, nine times out of 10, five years later, they'll be broke. If you take someone that's wealthy and they go broke, nine times out of 10, five years later, they'll be back wealthy again. Now, why is that? Well, you can simply say that, well, the wealthy has learned something different that broke folks simply haven't learned. Now, it's not that the information isn't available. It's just that the awareness that is available and the decision to go learn what you don't know is the difference. Now, of course, we can talk about how people are raised. We can talk about all of that good stuff. But at the end of the day, the information is available. In 2017, 2019, 2020, the information is available. and the information is free. Not only is it available, but it's also free. How many guys will say that free is pretty easy? I mean, if I can get it for free, that means that I just got to go get it. But see, even though it's free, many of us don't know that it's available, that it's there. Because our consciousness, our mind has never went to, you know what? Um, I ain't really kind of where I think I should be in life. And my money's kind of funny. But I never really in my mind thought, wow, I could be rich. So all things, although all things are possible, right, what we believe, but until we recognize that it's possible for me, we don't walk in it, okay? So I wanted to share with you guys the forefront, obviously talk about the plan, right? So the plan, you got to first kind of figure out where you've been. How did you get to where you are now? And then you have to settle in, well, where am I at right now? In my life, in my finances, whatever area that you want to spe you want to specify in, and then you got to figure out well, where do I want to be at by this particular time, and then you got to say, okay, well, how do I get there? Now these are questions to ponder. If I put in comments, on questions. These are questions to ponder. How did I get here? Broke, busted, disgusted, rich, wealthy, or whatever, sick, healthy, you know, how did I get here? Right. Okay, where am I right now? Here's where I am. Okay, I, I like this. I don't like this. I want to fix this. Oh, this is okay. Where do I want to be by such and such time? Right? I want to be, I'm here. I want to get here. I'm going to set the destination for where I am to where I want to go. And then, great question to ask. Once you figure out where you want to go, how do I get there? See, you probably don't know how to get there just yet. But if you never ask, how do I get there? Then those answers will never come to you. Ask and you will ask, uh, seeking you'll find. Ask and an answer will come. Ask and something, you get an answer, right? So these are principles that we've learned. Or many of us have, we write or we, we can speak. Many of us know the scriptures. We can pop them out, right? But we don't walk in them. We don't abide by the word. Matter of fact, we hardly use the word, but we don't buy it by those words, although they are universal principles. So, so that's the that's how you that's how you develop a plan. 
right? Taking a look at where, you, where you've been, how you got to where you are now, where you are right now, where you want to be, how do you get there? That's how you can actually develop a plan for whatever area of your life that you want to focus on. Now, I particularly focus on money because that's one of the areas that is deficient to a to a to such a degree when it comes to black folk. This deficient, it's 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 it is such a we call it the wealth gap, right? It's such a huge gap, right? And it's not just a huge gap, it's, it's a bigger gap in knowledge than it is in income or wealth. It's a bigger gap in knowledge. Uh, because we just we just we, for a long time we didn't have access. And then we did when we did have access, we didn't know it was there. And because we didn't know it was there, we never went after it or sought after it or asked about it. Now, although we read a book that's been around for 2,000 years that talks about prosperity, that talks about the, the, the that talks about your soul prospering as your uh, you will prosper as a soul prosper. It talks about a God that wants to lead you into abundance, that talks about the land flowing with milk and honey. I can go on and on and on. Talks about not get, staying out of debt. Talking about oh no man nothing but uh, nothing but love. Talks about being a, a lender and not a borrower. We can go on and on and on about the greatest financial literacy book ever written from God Himself, if that's what you believe. But yet and still, people who go into these uh, into these uh, buildings on Sunday and Wednesday are still broke. I don't think that makes much sense because there's not really been a focus on finance. Would you agree? So we talk about plan. Then we got to say, OK, well, for our club, what do we really stand on? So there's four things that we stand on. Number one, personal development. Number two, business development. Why, why, why personal development? Well, uh, in order for us to really fix anything else in our life, we got to fix us first. Number two, business development. Why business development? Because generational wealth is built through business. So if you're not building a business, at the very best, the only thing you can do is transfer wealth to the next generation. But many of us talk about leaving an inheritance to our children's children. That's through business. That's why we do business development for those who want to develop a business of some sort. Right. Number three, financial literacy or education. Right. To learn what we don't know about money, because many of us mismanage the resources that come into our hand. Right. And then we have investment education. I want to tell you the key. OK, the key, the key to getting rich is learning how to multiply money. Now, we learn multiplication, that, you know, fifth grade, third grade, second grade, right? Miss uh, Monica, you can tell me what year we, we learn in education, uh, multiplication, right? But we haven't learned, many of us have not learned how to multiply money. Now, I want to distinguish two different things. Distinguishing rich between wealthy. I'm saying rich, particularly reason why, because I want you to get rich. I want you to have so much money come into your hand that you that you do know what to do with it because we have education so that you can learn how to manage what comes into your hand. But I found that while teaching people how to invest, while teaching people what to do with the money, it's very hard for them to do anything with the money when they don't have much. So I said, well, instead of me just trying to teach a man how to fish, I'm going to first give him a fish, which in this particular case is not money itself. It is opportunity. It is inspiration. It is motivation. It's saying, hey, rise and walk. And then once you get some money into your hand, now we start talking about what we're going to do with it in order for it to multiply, in order for it to passively grow, all that good stuff, to build wealth. So I want to make sure we distinguish the difference between getting rich, having so much in your hand that your cup is overflowing, and building wealth. Now your bills are being paid by your money and not by your labor. So personal development, business development, financial literacy, and investment education. So let's first talk about personal development as we're talking about 2020. So uh, with the BBC, we have, with the BBC, the Black Billionaires Club, by the way, and uh, we have done a great job uh, with personal development in 2019. Uh, we have, uh, you know, we have the book club that goes on. We're going to have uh, two other uh, platforms, uh, really shows that we do to really bring a light to our community, which will be Black Man Monday and Black Woman Wednesday, and that's gonna be it. Uh, we're gonna focus the rest of our time uh, with the BBC, particularly in business development. 
we're really not going to do add on more to personal development in 2020. We're going to really sh shift our focus to legacy building, which will be business development. We still have the book club. We still have the things that we have done up until this point, but it's time for us to make a switch. It's time for us to evolve. It's time for us to take the next level and help our small businesses uh, grow and develop and become big business. So we're going to spend most of our year in 2020 helping the businesses that have already been established within our club to become big business. And for those who want to start a business, we're going to help you get started as well. Walk you through those platforms. we got business credit classes coming up. We have how to start your business the legal way, uh, uh, you know, uh, social media, marketing, all that good stuff as well. So we got all that stuff coming up in 2020. We did a little bit of it, but we wanted to set the foundation in 2019 with making sure we got our minds right, our money minds right. And I think we did a good job of doing that. Would you guys agree? You guys agree that we did a pretty good job in 2019 of helping people to get their money mind right. I see so many of our members uh, who are leveling up. I see so many uh, who are who are who are on a whole they 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 they're just inching up, inching up step by step, moment by moment. They're just inching up, and I'm super excited about uh, about what we have seen the growth of our members. Now, for those that might be joining us, you might not know what we're talking about. Well, you can choose to join the Black Billionaires Club at any point in time you decide to do so. Just simply go to the website, theblackbillionairesclub.com. But nonetheless, so personal development is really going to kind of stay where it is. And we're going to shift our focus into business development. So if you're a person that's saying, hey, I, I, I want to start a business or I have an idea and I don't know what to do. And you, you know, So you want to lean on wise counsel. If you're a person that's got a business already going, but you're stuck. It's like, man, this thing is not really bringing in the income, profits, and things like that. What well, we're going to work, we're going to work together to see what we can do about helping you in the areas that you are deficient in. And it's it's probably only a couple because here's the deal: most of us are solopreneurs, and so we only have so much time. We only know so much ourselves, and so it's going to really come down to us working with each other and you hiring in your weakness, hiring in your weakness. So, for example, um, I know that many of our businesses are not great with social media marketing, which is very, very important in 2019. So, uh, so what I, in my time that I have, then I can help coach and develop in that area or take over some of those responsibilities for them until they get the ball rolling. That's called collaboration. Of course, I don't work for free. But hey, I know what type of results I can get also. And so in 2019, I'd share ideas and I don't know if people ran with it or not, but I've seen some people say, hey, you know, I see Mark, he, he sent me the pineapple upside down cake okay, and we put that down and showing understanding these things about what really moves people to do, what really moves people to buy, what are people's hot buttons. Y'all see me do it all the time. I can start a fire in a second. And have the whole the whole social media going. It's like this, but yeah, because they think I'm crazy. <laughs> no, it's not that I'm crazy. I know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> but y'all don't see. See, many people don't understand what I'm doing because they're so used to being reactive to everything that comes across their pathway. They don't understand they're being played. And I can just say that straight up because we get played all the time. And that's just what happens. Okay, let's just be real. Like they just tug on a little, they just tug on a little heartstring, and the next thing you know, we going crazy over stuff, and it'd be like, "What did y'all?" They do it all the time, all the time, right? So personal development still stay where it's at. We're gonna move into business development. Now, let's talk about business development for a little bit. So business development with the BBC is about helping you to start your business or helping you to grow or expand your business, and we got experts in a lot of different areas that can help you to do that. Uh, what I found is that many business owners, they simply won't let people know they're in business. We got to get past that. One thing that we'll do, we're going to do this. Uh, we just, just decided this today on the Black Billionaires Club. All right. So if you are a uh, member and you have a service oriented business, we're going to start with you first. We're actually going to add a tab to the Black Billionaires Club that up here, probably next to store or something like that, that's going to say services. And then what we're going to do, we're going to partner with you for no extra charge. We're going to actually put your business into our listing. I don't like that word or directory. I really hate that word. But just so you know, because I we know how to drive traffic to our site. And when they go to our site, they'll also see not only a club, but the club's businesses. 
And if they choose to whatever, to hit you up because you do life insurance or hit you up because you're some type of coach or hit you up because you do some type of teaching or training or whatever the case may be, well, we're going to make sure we share the wealth. Everybody put it on, so share the wealth. Now, I don't care about getting paid for this because you're already paying. Well, I want to make sure that you level up in 2020. That's my goal. So what we're going to do, we're going to get you with our uh, with our web developer. Now, you have to pay the web developer because if your stuff not dope, I just want you to understand, if it ain't dope, it ain't going on the site. So some of y'all, y'all might still have graphics from 2007, you know, 1975 or something like that. I don't know. But if it ain't dope, it ain't going on the site. So we're going to get you with our developer and uh, help you with some graphics and stuff that fit 2020 and beyond. Get your stuff looking dope so that you are current in your marketing. All right. Because the first impression ain't means a lot. Now, some of you, you got to get out of your head. You got to get out of pride. Some of you guys, you just want to be the show. You want to be the visibility and sometimes you don't have to be. So there's certain things we're going to have to talk to you about first to help you understand as it relates to the business that you are running, what's going to be best as far as what people need to see so they can do business with you. Does that make sense? So we're going to put your stuff on the site. You're going to get with the web developer. And then now we're going to have all these BBC businesses, right? That as we drive traffic to the site, they can do business with you. It'll be a clickable link that goes off to your site. That's your client. That's your customer. I don't care. Now, why do I not care? Because I know how to make money myself. <laughs> I don't, you know what I'm saying? Some of y'all, I don't think some people understand. Like, the $20 a month, you think I care about, I re, you think I really care about that? No. The, 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 the cost is relative to your commitment. That's what it's about. It's about your commitment to show up. It's about your commitment to, to, to engage. It's about your commitment to get the, get all. To see, if me and you were in different shoes, and you know what I'm saying? Here's what I'd be doing. I'd be making sure I'm getting every last drop of, of value I could. That's what I'd be doing. That's not what most people do. Most people take it for granted. Most people take it for granted. I'd be getting every last drop of value that I could for my $10 a month for. $20 a month or $50. I'd be getting every last drop of value that I could until I got to where I wanted to be. That's not what most people do. So it's okay. So we're going to take, we're going to help you guys out. So I see if you got a service-based business in the BBC, go ahead and put in the comments below what you do. I'd like to see who we're talking about here. We're going to do that first, right? Catering, right? We're going to do that first and then we'll get to the products because it's a little bit easier for me to do a backlink to your website if you do a service than it is for me to figure out how to, uh, us to figure out how to sell your product without it being some type of co-mingled type of stuff, all right? So that's going to be part of business development, all right? Another part of business development, as we as I always do, I keep on giving people ideas to get rich, and only a few people take advantage of it. For example, right, uh, last week, I shared something with you guys. Let me go through this for you, because see, some people, they don't understand. I get this, I get this stuff away for free. Because it don't matter. Why doesn't it matter? Because most people won't do it. <laughs> okay? Most people won't do it. So it don't matter. And I figure it. I know I get it. It got to be in your lane. And I'm here. Here's the difference. I want I want you to understand the difference between black folk and everybody else. Right? I want you to understand this. So we've been trained to believe in business. Y'all going y'all going y'all going y'all not going to like this. We've been trained to believe in business that we got to stay in a lane. And because of that lane that we stay in, we, 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 for some reason, we feel like we can't really go outside of that lane and do other stuff. But if you look at other communities, if you look at the Chinese, for example, the Chinese do whatever makes them money. They don't care about a damn lane. And of course, they have the stuff at the, at the nail shop. They're going to have all the nail stuff. But man, if it was something that was coming down the pipe, you know what they do? They go in a heartbeat and go sell that stuff and make them some money. They don't care about a lane. What they care about is getting that guap. And so some of us are so like, man, this is this is my lane. This is my thing. And I get it. I get it when you're building. I get it when you're trying to really focus on one particular thing and establish yourself. But some of you guys are so stuck in this thing called a lane that you pass on opportunities to get money. And so you'd rather stay in your lane, stay broke, 
then get out of your lane and get rich. Uh-oh. Some of you are right because of pride. It's a pride thing. This is my lane. I'm going to keep on working this thing, even though it ain't working. I'm going to keep working it because this is my lane, and I'll stay in this lane even though I'm broke, and I won't get out of this lane to go get rich or to go get to ground zero, and then what happens then? So some of us, you just got to understand. I, You know what I do? I do what works, period. I got past that. Oh, this is what I want to do. I, I, only, I do what works. If it works, I'll do it. If it works, it's legal. Ain't gonna, you know what I'm saying? And I, I got the time. If it works, I'll do it. Now, I'm not saying that's for everybody. But I'm just telling you, I, that's why I've been leveling up so much. Because I'm willing to do what works. Okay? So, I gave this idea, right? So, I was going to... Uh, I was going to the post office to, you know, do my daily, you know what I'm saying? That's why I call it a profit center because I love going to the post office. When I go to the post office, I ain't picking up no mail. I'm sending out stuff, right? I'm sending out stuff. What's going on, uh, Jennifer? Uh, Vivian, uh, events, uh, it spells share well, right? Service. Okay, AV, you got to serve sports training. So we're going to get AV. We're going to get your sports training up there. I think, AV, you also do canvases and stuff like that, but that might be products. I'm not quite sure, right? Anybody else got a service business and you're in the BBC, uh, Monica, I said, this is what happens when you don't have your glasses on. Okay, <laughs> I'm talking to each other. True, true, King. Okay, right. So, AV, we're gonna get your, you, we're gonna get your sports training uh, thing up. I know you do some stuff for the kids. We're gonna have it up there so people know. All right. So I went to the post office, and when I went to the post office, there's this young, there's this young artist uh, that was there, and uh, he was selling, he was selling um, uh, paintings, right? A painting like this. This is Lauren Hill. Okay. Now. I'm at the post office and, you know, everybody's, you know, kind of passing by the brother because, you know, they trying to do their daily stuff and get on moving and stuff like that. And I told him, I'll hit you. I'll holler at you when I get out. I got out. He pulled over and said, boom, boom, bam. Look at my prints, blah, blah, blah. Y'all saw me do the video, right? So, and I talked to him. I said, man, go ahead and give me 10 prints. I got 10 prints. Now, why did I get 10 prints? Because I saw great quality work and I saw a huge opportunity. Right. So I said, OK, so now he's a he's a plug. He does his own stuff. I'm supporting the brother, helping him get off the street. I see an opportunity for him to make money, for me to make money, for other people to get great gifts. And I came on. I said, hey, here's a wonderful opportunity for people. If y'all are broke, five dollars, you can help get yourself out of debt or whatever. Right. But you know what? How many people took advantage to? And I don't know what they're going to do with it, but only two. And so now what happens is I got to go take advantage of it, show people, right? That's the reason why I get paid a lot of money because I had to simply show people. They don't believe in themselves. They they, 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 they don't get it all the time. You got to be a teacher. You got to go out and show, not just a preacher and talk. So I got to go out and show. So here's the thing. Now, I sold the print for $5. Of course, I didn't pay $5 for it. I paid $2 for it. And I'm just going to tell you all straight up because it don't matter. I paid $2 for it. Right, great deal. Matter of fact, I got six for I got bought five, got one free. So I got six for 10. So now I done turned my I done already turned my, my little investment to help the guy into profit for me. But then I told people, I said, man, even at five dollars, even at five dollars, here's what you could do. You could take this print, you could then what AV probably is gonna do, and he knows what I'm talking about. He's gonna go probably go and frame it. He's gonna probably put some glass on top of it. And now it becomes a portrait. Now you tell me, this beautiful print in portrait form, how much do you think it goes for, right? At the very least, I would say off a of cheap, uh, a cheap frame, cheap glass, probably twenty five dollars. So if AV paid five dollars for it, and he then sells it for twenty five dollars, that's four hundred percent. That's four hundred percent. And so now AB's like, I'm in the game. Do you know what I'm saying? He's going to sell one, get his $25 back, right? And then go buy five more and still got four to sell. But see, what happens is people look at all these opportunities to make money, all these opportunities to get in business, and they just simply watch them pass them by. AV saw an opportunity. 
He said, shoot, I know how to make some frames. He probably go get the frames for two, three dollars. I don't know. I ain't a frame guy, but I was I was thinking of that. I said, let me go on over here to my local store, figure out how I can frame one. Cause I'm going to the colleges tomorrow. I'm going to some stores next week. I can have my prints out, my paints out. And guess what? It's Christmas time. And people are gonna see that and be like, oh, what's that? I'll be like, $25, $30. Some people say you can probably you can sell it for $40, $50. I don't know. How much do you think? Right, a, a print in frame, in glass, ready to go, 17 by 11 inch picture. How much does that go for in your local market? You tell me. You tell me. That's an easy opportunity to turn $4, $5 into $25, to turn $50 into $250, to turn $500 into $2,500. Just keep adding zeros. You do it enough, you get rich. Would you agree? Rinse and repeat. People gonna keep buying prints, keep buying paintings, keep buying portraits. You see? Look at that. They can also be reproduced. Look at this. See what I'm saying? This is what. See, then the 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 uh, the 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 ideas start flowing. People are like, oh my goodness, yeah, wow, woo, yeah, right. Uh, you got canvas art, fragrance oil, buys on incense and t-shirts, right? Event uh, uh, Tamiki, right? We're gonna get you up. So the first. Uh, to make the web design. So the first two businesses or services that are going to go on our business development services tab for the BBC is going to be uh, Future by Design. That's the service that I provide. And it's Mickey Jones, who is the web developer. Her big sis media company is going to go on their second. And then we're going to add the third. And then we're going to add the fourth, right? Look at that. AB said at the store, $50 or more. So you mean to tell me you can turn $5 into $50? Come on, man. Or ten dollars after you get supplies or whatever came may be in the fifty dollars. Come on, man, right? So that's the thing. It's like, man, when you start getting around people, you start getting around a circle, you start getting around a club, you start moving away from the crowd of broke, and you get with people who are having these conversations. I'm doing this for free to the public tonight. When you start getting around people who are talking different, thinking different, having different conversations, you begin to think different, talk different, and get different results, right? That's what happens when you decide that enough is enough. You decide, I'm going to take action. You decide to actually join some type of organization, even if it isn't us. I mean, my goodness, when is enough enough? So uh, that's business development, guys. So that's some of the things we're going to be doing in 2020, uh, obviously. And then what we cut with a little bit of the plan we came up with in the first part of the year, uh, we're going to actually have a uh, do, go through some uh, some business model canvas which is like some business uh, structure stuff first, business credit first. And then what we're going to do, here's the cool thing. We're going to then, uh, for the latter part of January, we're going to then be interviewing businesses because we need to find out what you do and also uh, what you need help with. And then after we get through about eight businesses, because we'll have two, Tuesday, Thursday, last two weeks, that's two, four, uh, maybe eight different uh, interviews. That'll be interviews within the group, what we consider to be uh, group coaching, things like that. Uh, then we're going to select businesses that we're going to work with for a whole month, right? So if you're in, if you're in, uh, in a business owner in the BBC and you're like, uh, yeah, I'm down with that. And some of y'all are too quiet. Some of y'all are too scared. Some of y'all are too behind the scenes. But anyway, this is going to be behind a private wall in our group. And then we're going to start working with uh, individual businesses for a month. And then we're going to go to the next business for a month. That's about as much dedicated time as we can give. But that's going to be two nights a week, every week, until that month is over. And then we move to the next business that uh, was a part of our initial uh, you know, intake or something like that, right? So I think that's going to work better because you guys will be able to be a part of those conversations, the rest of the group, and be able to help with your ideas. And it's going to be all of us in the club helping all of us in the club. Does that make sense? So as I said, a plan, having a plan, a man with a plan and execution is unstoppable. A man with a plan and execution is unstoppable. Now, there may be some who are watching here tonight that's not part of the BBC. You can at any point in time make a decision. You say, I, I ain't nobody really talking like this where I'm at, and I need to have some of these conversations. So let me come on over here to this group 
and uh, connect with these brothers and sisters because everybody else is talking about football tonight. Everybody else is just talking about smoking weed tonight. Everybody else is just talking about drinking alcohol tonight. Now we talking about leveling up. We're not waiting until 2020 to do it. We're talking about the plan that we have to put into effect and to attack. So that's personal development, a little bit about personal development, also a little bit about business development, financial education. So financial education, for me, is going to be all about getting money into your hands. All right, because because to teach, to, obviously we're going to still teach about money, but really, uh, you know, we're going to start moving into the, those things to do with money. So we're going to work on putting money into your hands, you generating more income, and then we get into the whole life insurance. We get into the whole annuities. We get into the whole mutual funds. We get into all that stuff, right? Get into your business, all that stuff. So now you're like, okay, now I'm leveling up. I'm, I'm generating more income. I'm not going to do what everybody else does and increase my expenses. I'm going to figure out what I can do with this extra in order for it to begin to multiply on my behalf. But you got to learn that. And how do you learn that? By being around people who already know. I just gave you a wonderful example of what we already know. I just gave you a 400% increase example that any of us could have done. Any of us still could do, but only a few of us will do it. That's the difference. See, I want to tell you, and I, I'm not trying to throw any shade or anything like that. I just want you to understand that you are choosing your income. You might feel like, well, this is all the income I can make. That's not true. That's all the in income you accept because you keep choosing those things. See, when I got on this journey, I, I, I accepted those things for temporary, right? I did the Uber. I did the Lyft. I did all that stuff to get myself back into where I wanted to be. Then guess what I start doing? I start Ubering my own stuff. So people call me now and say, hey, man, what's going on? I like to get that print. Like, man, I'm all the way on the west side of town. I said, oh, well, you know, sorry for you. When you come to pick it up? Well, I don't stay around you, man. Can you deliver it? Yeah, for a small fee. Well, how much? Well, where do you stay? Oh, I stay in Union City. Okay, that'd be $10. Well, $10. I said, well, hey, how much are you going to pay somebody else to bring it to you? I start Ubering my own stuff. And then when I did that, guys, guess what happened? I started keeping 100% of the profit. See, when you got stuff to sell, big difference. When you got stuff to sell, big difference. When you got stuff to sell, you start getting this right now money. Once you got stuff to sell, you learn how to sell it. Big difference in your income. Big difference, right? Be it like you said, you got a singer, songwriter, voiceover. So here's another little bit about our business development. Right, I, I got to keep going back here because I got we got so much in business development because that's going to be our focus for 2020. Uh, is uh, uh, we're going to be we're one of the biggest one of, another place that we're going to have a big impact is in distribution. Everybody putting console distribution. Now this is understanding the supply chain, and so the supply chain that I found in our community is that we do have quite a few businesses that make stuff. Right. Well, now think about it. So I've had shows and it's like, dang, it's like every show we got somebody that makes soap. Right. Got a lot of people that make soap. But if we have a whole bunch of people that make soap, then why do we have a whole bunch of, of, of black folk in our community buying soap from the people who, who make the soap? You know why? Because there's a there's a problem in the in the supply chain. There's a problem with the distribution. And so we become the distribution channel for all of the black owned businesses that make stuff. And then now we we because we are so phenomenal with marketing, people know us and they know that we sell black stuff just like we buy black.com may do, just a little bit different, right? And then now we're helping the black owned business sell their stuff, we're helping the black consumer get the black owned businesses stuff and then we make money as the pipeline. And so we're going to be expanding what we're doing through the members who want to be a part of distribution. Let me give you an example of what that looks like. Because uh, it also is understanding the cost of stuff. And so we've been looking at businesses, we've been looking at retail space and stuff like that. That stuff does not make any sense. Uh, you know, real estate is getting too expensive for the up and coming or to the, for the startup. And then when I look at other communities, they don't start in retail space. They don't start there. They also don't start in events, which many of us do, because we don't think that's the thing to do. And I keep telling you guys, that's a, that ain't that ain't the what's up. Now that you don't do events at all, I'm going to an event at the end of uh, end of this month. It's going to be at New Birth Missionary Baptist Church, which happens to be the largest church in the Southeast. Yeah, that's a place I want to be. A ready-made network. 
I think Mark is going somewhere. He only paid 50, 75 dollars or something like that. Right. So I'm not saying that don't do events. I'm saying that, man, you better start talking to people who know about these events and start asking questions before you go. Like, what do y'all think? This is uh, but see, you can only do that when you got what wise counsel. We got wise counsel. Everybody put this in the comments below. There is safety and wise counsel. See, here's the reason why you want to be connected with people who know more than you. Because there is safety and wise counsel. I see you, Kenata. You know I got you, girl. You've been doing a wonderful job. Uh, Kenata, in case you guys don't know, uh, she's been, uh, she uh, she put, put her, her fitness, uh, fitness video up yesterday. And as you guys, hopefully you guys know on the BBC, we're serious about health. Hey, your health is your wealth. And so we got quite a few people in the nutrition industry. We've got people that, that are dealing with natural, uh, uh, that are sharing some of the natural remedies as well. And uh, and actually, she is actually a nutrition, in the nutrition field and also in the uh, fitness world, right? So she's going to be bringing some exercises that we can do at home, some other stuff like that, uh, working with her as she is growing and developing as well. So distribution, Felicia says, subtle blitz. Blit favorite fragrance biz body air freshers incense and more right so um so uh so that's a product right fantastic so we are going to um be into distribution and we're going to be looking to expand the distribution through you and so what I'm able to do is uh because I put myself in the situation where number one I built my business debt free uh number two I got capital to be able to invest or take a chance on people give them an opportunity um we're going to i'm not going to, i'm not going to reveal that part of the plan publicly uh because that's not for the public to know just know that we are uh, there is a plan in effect for those who want to be a part of the distribution network as we already have to really distribute okay and and part of that is uh is 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 you being in a position to have product to sell and then using uh, leveraging our network which can help drive traffic and drive marketing and drive advertising to you for those that have been following me for a while, you know that um, I'm getting to a space where I have no inventory because I want to have as many dollars available to do marketing. And the more people I can get to see what I do, the more people I can get to see my business, the more people will have an opportunity to do business with me. So I understand the value of having enough capital in your budget for marketing. And I would, I would rather over market and budgeting or over budget in marketing than anything else because that's where new money comes from. From your marketing uh, budget, from what you invest in marketing, and we're at a time right now when marketing is super cheap. Uh, you ain't gotta go to, you ain't always gotta go the old route. You ain't gotta go to the radio. You you don't have to do all that stuff. Now that's a, that's all a part of the plan. Not that anything's better than any other, but man, we're at a time now. Oh lord, let me tell you, y'all. Let me tell you what I did. How slick I am. That's just, I'm a I'm cold as ice. So. I'm actually going to a, a, a space on Sunday. I go, I got a black owned business. I go and do some, uh, I go and set up at, they let me set up for free. Everybody like that word free. Why? Because I've established a relationship. So I go over there on, on Sundays and I said, you know what? Let me try something. Let me try. Let me see how cold I am. So I created an event on Facebook and then Facebook links it to Eventbrite. So I created an event and I call this event. This the black owned business is a, is a health, health food sp space. They sell smoothies and, and, and salmon burgers and stuff like that, vegan, Moorish, all that stuff. So I said, you know what? Let me create an event and see what happens. The cool thing, the thing about an event is that it gets eyes onto something and then maybe people will be interested in going. So I created a free event, right? And I called the event Smoothie Sip and Pop-Up Shop. And uh, and I, I created it last week. And then I put a couple of dollars on. Now, why did I put dollars on? Because I said if I can get, if I can drive people to come, and I spend five or ten dollars, then what'll happen is I'll get that money back when they come shop with me. So I was willing to invest up front in order to get people to come, and it's going to do two things: it's going to drive business to that black-owned business that I'm at, that's giving me the opportunity to be there, and it's also going to bring business to me to be able to make my investment back from the, the marketing that I did. Now, would anybody take a guess? I've already, it's already been eight tickets, 10 tickets acquired, right? Would anybody, would anybody want to take a guess as to why? What was it that caused these people to go and get a free ticket at a public place that really is no event at all? I just created out of thin air. It is nothing going on, but business as usual. 
But what do you think caused these people to go actually put their name in, give me their email address, and then get a ticket saying they're going to some event that really is no event at all? I made it up. Anybody want to take a guess? Why are these people? And I don't know if they're going to show up. It doesn't matter. But they took action. How in the world did I get somebody to take action off an event that isn't even really, it doesn't really exist, but in their mind, they're going to something or they at least are interested in going to something. And so they wanted to make sure they got a ticket. Oh, Lord. See, this is the kind of teaching that you get when you actually join the club versus, you know, watching on sideline, hoping that you're going to be able to get something for free. So anybody want to take a guess? Why? What did I do? What happened? that caused these people to really go and get a free ticket to go to a public place, to an event that really isn't really an event, but they think it's an event, and they might show up on Sunday. Matter of fact, I had somebody hit me up, asked me about some of the product I sold. Then you know what they said? They said, hey, you gonna be at Morris Medicine on Sunday? I was like, absolutely, I'll see you there. Any guesses? Now we're talking about marketing. Any guess? why in the world would somebody get a free ticket to go to a public place, right? For an event that doesn't even really exist. So Monica said, it seems like there's a time limit, right? Uh, uh, my Instagram, Gladys Chateau, uh, Ms. Ms. Gladys said, uh, create, I created engagement. How? How did I create engagement? Anybody else? Woo! Well, yeah, I'm bringing attention, Kenata, but how? How? What was it about? What do you think it was about my advertisement that actually caught people's attention, right? They think they got value. Okay, it's free, but there's a lot of free events. So, so it's not just that it's free, right? There's a lot of free. We're in Atlanta, by the way. So there's plenty of free events in Atlanta, okay? So let's not think it's because it's free. And it's the thing, guys. It's like marketing one on one. Most people don't don't know this because they don't really study this stuff. What is it that got their attention to then go get a free ticket to a public place for them to go buy their own smoothie? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> my history? No, not my history. They don't know me. Remember, I put an ad out. This is going to people that don't know me. They don't know. They don't know nothing about ERGJ Black Bazaar. See, it's something so simple that many of us really just do not know how other people are marketing to us that gets us to do things that we wouldn't normally do. That's part of it being health conscious. I'll tell you, here's the answer, guys. The answer is the picture. That's it. The picture. That's why I keep telling you, Mr. Markdown, you better keep on showing cheesecake. It's the picture. They saw uh, orange yellow, red, uh, whatever other color was on there. They saw strawberries and bananas. They health conscious. They saw grapes and pineapples. They saw mason jars. And they thought to themselves, man, I want something to drink. They said, man, I got to wait till Sunday to get me something to drink. And man, when I get something to drink, it's going to be good. Look at how good that drink looks. It's the picture. See, you see how much you don't really know about marketing? And it's the same thing that happens to us, right? We get something come on TV. Oh, that looks delicious. Ah, I just got hungry. Oh, let's go, let's go to McDonald's. You see? Mr. Daniels, that's why I keep telling you, you better put a piece of cheesecake up every day as you get. It's just simply the picture. Now, of course, I had to add some other stuff, but they didn't read it. Y'all know they didn't read? Y'all know they didn't read because y'all wouldn't have read it. They probably saw picture and free. Okay, let me click. They saw picture, free, and date. That's it. That's it. You think they clicked on the description and said, well, what else? Do, what type of shakes they going to have? What type of smoothies going to be there? What is this smoothie and sip thing about? No, they didn't. They saw picture, free, date. Click, let me get me a ticket. See how much you don't know about marketing? 
See? See how much you don't know about marketing. <laughs> so now I got 10 tickets uh, acquired, right? Because they didn't have to pay for it. So you can't say bought. They got 10 tickets acquired. If I get two people out of those 10 to show up, if I get one to buy something from me, I'm, I'm scot-free. If I just get one out of the 10, two to come, one to buy, now y'all know I'm closing both. <laughs> y'all know I'm closing both. If they come out there, if they come and they be like, I got my ticket, I'm closing them. That's just how it works. Y'all done came this far, y'all buying something. <laughs> this is why marketing is so fun. People don't even understand why how they're getting marketed to. And this stuff that you learn when you uh, join the Black Billionaires Club, okay? These are some of the things that we go through, man. How do we really capture people's attention to get them to actually do something, to do what you want them to do? That means, hey, not only do we got to study money, we also have to study other people. Everybody put in the so study people. Not only do you got to study the money. Right, studying money to learn about money and learn its ways. You got to study people. Why? Because people got the money. So if you want to get the money out of the people's hands, you got to study the people. You got to study the people. That's how it works. That's how it works. So we got personal development, we got business development. We're gonna be expanding distribution, uh, financial education. I mentioned to you guys uh, will be uh, is really all about putting money into your hands, and we have investment education. So. Uh, 2020 year, we're looking at two things. Uh, we're going to continue along with our investment club, which we currently have. Uh, that's going to continue to roll. We're going to have open enrollment in January. Uh, for those that missed the first part of that boat, they'll become be able to come in with us uh, for the second part. And then uh, we're going to have uh, we're going to we're going to look to establish our real estate group. Uh, we're going to look to establish our real estate group so we can then uh, begin to invest in the real estate by the block back. Uh, stop gentrification. See, it's one thing to talk about. It's another thing to be about it. And I'm telling you that we can do much more together than we ever could by ourselves. And that's what we're going to be doing uh, in 2020. So I wanted to share with you guys a little bit about the plan, uh, where we're going. We know where we're at. We kind of know what we've been through. Uh, I would also say one of my biggest, one big goal that I have is Africa 2020. I, I keep, it keep popping up. I don't know if it's going to be me that's going or others are going to go with us. I'll be looking for a travel agent of some sort that may be in the group to help us figure out Ghana, Nigeria. We'll do a vote on that. I think Ghana is probably be the best place to go first. Uh, we'll look to do that in September. Uh, that's right around my birthday, by the way. I said, hey, it's going to be a good trip for me to go on. And then uh, last but not least, before I bring our special guests on tonight, uh, we have the BBC extravaganza. So each and every year we do an extravaganza for, for members to meet, right, have a good time, and for us to really fellowship and also strategize. So that's going to be taking place on April 25th of 2020. Y'all y'all know how it went down last year. So y'all already know. <laughs> y'all already know it's going to be going down. Even, even We're going to 10X it uh, this year for the BBC Extravaganza. I think Be The Light, uh, Miss Felicia Garner, will be a blessing, her, blessing us uh, with her talents, with her vocals. Uh, we'll have, and I'm going to start working on the build out of the program uh, over the next couple weeks because I really want to start early. So that you guys have opportunity to, to, to you know take care of your travel arrangements and all that stuff as well, um, and all that stuff as well. But at any rate, guys, uh, BBC man, uh, tonight's a very special night because we have our, our special guest who uh, is a BBC member, and of course, we're here to show some love and some support. Go ahead, hit that like button, that share button, if, uh, if you care. Like button, share button, if you care. For those that's on Instagram, we're going to lose you at this point in time. We have been here for an hour. And I'm not going to come back on in an hour because this is all actually going to be screen sharing and stuff like that. So pop on over to Facebook or YouTube at ERGJ Enterprises because we're going to keep the party going as we're just going to educate, elevate, give people an opportunity to make a difference or make a, a choice to make a difference in their life. So thanks so much for joining us over at Instagram. So nonetheless, guys, uh, this this brother here is got to be one of the. I, I don't even know what to say. He just he just he just continues to show up and continues to uh wow like wow like wow and so uh, not like whoa like wow right so like wow man so I'm super excited um uh that this brother had taken the time to be with us here tonight. Uh, let me introduce you guys, my brother, my friend, uh, brother coming out of uh, uh, South Carolina, Mister. Antoine Lowry, bro. He done changed his name. He done got a new name. He ain't Mr. now. Mr. 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 <laughs> What's going on, brother? How you doing? How you doing, Evan? And in the world, how y'all doing? 
Man, we are doing absolutely phenomenal, man. I appreciate you taking the time to be here, man. I know we've been we've been rocking and rolling for quite a, quite a while, and it, it's great to, for be, people to be able to see other members and and what they're doing and their success and their level up and their progress. Uh, but there are some people that might be joining us here tonight that have no idea who the heck you are. If you could put on, let us know who you are, what you do, and why you do what you do. Well, how y'all doing, world? My name is Antoine Laurie. You know, you bet. Um, I used to be used to go by Landscape Laurie, but um, you know, the world know me as Antoine Laurie. Um, part of the uh, Black Billionaires Club, proud member, and basically, my goal, my life goal and journey is to inspire the world. So my brand is actually Inspire Thy World, where I uplift, motivate, and celebrate the world. Also, I'm into real estate, which um, my company is ITW Investments, LLC, and that's meaning Inspire Thy World Investments. Um, also, you know, I have an online t-shirt, uh, t-shirt, um, a pair, T-shirt, t-shirt and apparel brand, and that's um, inspiretheworld.com. You can shop with me. Um, I actually wearing one of the sh- one of the hoodies, Bolt Life, Wealthy Mindset. You know, um, so basically, I'm just here to spread love, spread positive energy, and just inspire the world to greatness. Absolutely, man, and and and, and great introduction by the way. Inspire our world. Everybody put a comment on so inspire thy world. Uh, and it's just super, again, man, I've just been watching you. We've been rolling for a while, at least a couple years. I know that uh, I remember uh, you coming down from, uh, I think, Tennessee, South Carolina to one of the events that we had. We got a chance to meet in person and all that stuff as well. Um, if you could just share with the people, man, I, I don't know how long you we've been connected, but however long that's been uh, and some of the milestones and progress that you've made over the years, I know that you, I think you just, Close your first real estate deal uh, and some of the connections that you made with uh, Tamiki Jones and Robert. I mean, I, we gonna, I don't know how we're going to break this all down because it's been a long journey, but uh, share what you can with the people. All right. Yeah, I'm going to try to. Like I said, it, it was a long journey and I may forget some things, but, you know, first off, the connection, just being part of you, Evan, and some of the people that you brought on your show, I pretty much connected with everyone. Uh, uh, Miss Lisa um, Pareto, uh, she connected with her and I did some uh, joint ventures with her. She did some of her inserts. I pretty much brought a bulk of her books and I was sponsoring it to some kids um, through a book uh, giveaway. Um, like Miss uh, Dr. Roberta Husky, she um, actually was able to get a scholarship. She was um, teaching real estate which I got, I gained a lot of a valuable knowledge and um, information on real estate. And like I said, I actually started my LLC from her class, just getting the confidence and the other thing, just to go out and go do it. And I, like I said, I closed my first wholesale deal this last week. Um, and I'm actually, got, I got one under contract and I want another one on the way. So that's doing great. And also Miss Tamika Jones, where she pretty much helped me uh, design and created my online store, which is e-commerce, drop shipping, where I'm pretty much hands free. Um, you can order on, order on my site where I'm not running around trying to ship anything off. And she's a great help with designing things. Um, she had You had also... Uh, um, what's her name? Bra- Miss Braxton, uh, Vanessa with the Black Mama T. Um, I actually invested with her. She was on the show as well, and I learned a lot from that. So, I mean, it, it's it's so much, so much things I learned, and so much connect connections that I built with just being part of Evan in the Black Billionaires Club and. It, it tr- pretty much changed my life, you know. Yeah, absolutely, man. Thanks so much for that. And, you, and let's get to your uh, your online store. We're going to show it in just a second. But I remember uh, getting a call. Well, I remember calling you or you calling me and us having a little, you know, a one-on-one. And you were telling me about the store. And I was like, oh, brother, let's talk about this for a second, man. Do you really want me rolling around with shirts and sweatshirts and all that stuff through town trying to sell your shirts, man? Talk to us about that store. 
Right. You know, I think I posted a sh uh, me with a T-shirt on. And I mean, you called me. Matter of fact, I think you ordered the shirt, called me up and asked how, how am I, you know, doing the orders. And I'm like, I'm doing it the old fashioned way. So you just you spark and you guide me to the uh, modern day time, you know, where as soon as you said that I put into action and, you know, you got in touch with Tamika from from yourself and the start of my online store, which allowed me freedom, allowed me not the headache of running around. And like I said, I, I thank you, you know, like one thing, you know, you, you can talk about it, but man, honestly, you take action and you like, I pretty much call you my mentor because, you know, you, you don't just, you know, talk about it. You'll be about it. You know, you order a few shirts, you represent my shirts on your show, which I really appreciate that. And, you know, you keep in touch, you know, I mean, I think I text you out like today or yesterday. I mean, before I got through with my text, you already, you know, calling me, man, that's, Great response time, and like I said, I pre I appreciate that, you know. Absolutely, man. The Tweaky Jones here in the comments going got to inspiredourworld.com. I guess we might well go ahead and take a look at your website here, inspiredourworld.com, man. We got here, man. So I'm going to navigate, brother. You just want to kind of take us through the site so people can see. Again, you guys can go to inspiredourworld.com. If you want to support a king and his dream tonight, you see anything that you like, you can go ahead. You know, we, 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 we don't just talk about it. We be about it here. Uh, so this is the site here, man. Just let me know where you want me to go. All right, so you can go ahead and um, hit the shop with me. Okay, so we got the women's uh, unisex. We can go to, um, you can scroll down either. You can just scroll down, see the different collections I have. Okay. Oh, okay, I see what type of site this is. Okay, yep. So you have your love, hate. Uh, talk to us about your designs. All right. So the first one we got is the that's the official Inspire That World Uplift, Motivate, and Celebrate. You know, you click it on, you can actually get it in different colors. Once you click on it, you know, that's the official you know site, man. So you know, end of the day, join the join the Inspire the World team. You know, uplift, motivate, celebrate. You know, um, then we got the love over hate. On the front is love over hate. On the back, when they hate, show love. You know, that's, you know, it's a hateful world out here. So I, I, I create that shirt just to spread a little love out here. You know, even though, you, even though there's hate out there, you know, we don't got to follow the crowd, you know. We, you know, just show some love out here. Next we have, that's the, yeah, respect the process, love the grind. And I actually think I got that from you, man, one of, one of your podcasts or, one of your shows. I mean, we gotta respect the process. You can't rush it. You know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta, you know, be thankful for the, you know, the falls and the ups, man. You gotta learn from the falls and keep going, and you know, love the grind. So I respect the whole process. You know. Absolutely. Man, I remember that. I remember that. So he's like, I'm gonna make that into a shirt. I remember that. <laughs> In fact, I, I'm gonna send you one, man. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna do that definitely. Trust God's plan. Like that's one of my. I wear that shirt. I'm getting stuff from everyone. I mean, you, 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 you know, you can't go wrong with trusting that man, his plan. You know, so you might have a plan of your own, but when you trust his plan and go at it, I mean, you can't go wrong. So that trust God's plan is a, and is a big one. And what else we got? I, I am now. That's the very first T-shirt I ever came out with. You know, once I start reading books and educate my mind and got my mind. You know, got me a wealthy mindset. I learned and I figured out that I am. You, know, you are the architect of your future. So that's uh that's the first shirt. And also, I'm gonna have a book coming out named uh, "I Am the Architect of My Future." So that's that's a dear shirt of mine. The first the first one. And the vault life. That's the newest vault life. Wealthy mindset. You know, I mean, that's where wealth starts. It starts with the mind. And your vote, I I call you my vote, my my mind, my brain. Because once you once you made in your mind that you are wealthy, and you're gonna go and get it, you know what I mean. And that's what created the vote life, wealthy mindset. Absolutely. And is there? I think that's. I think that's all, right? Right. And I got a cool, and I got some hoodies. If you go on a hoodie line, that's that's a jacket there. 
Oh, okay. Uh, so you got you know you want to put some of these hoodies down into your your main section. But go ahead. Right. Okay. Then you got the some hoodies and um some caps also. You know you got the vault life and you got the inspire that world hat. Um, I'll be dropping some more soon. But those those are the hoodies and the hats right there. Absolutely. Now, Antoine, man, uh, Mr. Antoine Lauer, I'm sorry, Mr. Antoine Lauer, uh, there's a, there, you have a very, uh, very powerful story uh, as it relates to uh, where you were financially um, to, you know, improving of credit to, I think, the acquisition of property. And then I believe uh, just today or yesterday, uh, you know, a special surprise for a special someone. Tell us a little bit about your story, man, there. Uh, and, and the journey, uh, being on TV or getting some press and all this stuff, man. Okay, so like I said, um, about three years ago, give it, give it take, you know, I started, I picked up a book, start reading it. Um, actually, it was Dave Ramsey, Total Money Makeover. Re read that book and just got on the journey of building my credit, you know, um, reading more books. Um, richest man of Babylon, think and grow rich, start following some powerful people, Les Brown, Tony Robbins. I mean, uh, it's a lot of people I start following, and I turn the radio off, I turn the TV and sports off, and I really start to educate myself. And, you know, one year, you know, I, I, I believe in vision boards, but I believe in making goals with it as well. So I set out in the year. I had a house in my dreams, a certain car in my dreams, a credit score uh, that I wanted, like a plus 100. Never had this credit, like 490 was the highest. So I, I literally accomplished all those three things in one year. Um, then land me to my realtor wanted me to be on a, on news. You know, basically she was she was amazed, man. She said, wow, everything I literally had on that vision board, I, I did in a year. Boom. And... So with that being said, the following year, like I'm still educating myself, reading up, linked up with Evan, and he's, you know, he's reading books, powerful books. I'm doing the same thing. And, you know, I basically, like I said, stumble into real estate, start self-teaching myself. And like I said, Roberta Husky and uh, matter of fact, Tommy Holt and some more other people start doing this real estate. Closed my first deal the other day. Um, so basically I'm, I'm in a whole new mind frame. Um, I'm spending wisely, you know, also buying stocks, like I said, definitely from Evan, you know, he, he started me with teaching me about stock and being in the BBC, um, learning stocks and how to buy stocks. So I, I got a small portfolio of stocks I'm already buying, um, which like I said, with the help of Evan and the BBC, I wouldn't, wouldn't have any. So Fast forward now, like I said, this week I closed my first wholesale deal, got one under contract working on it. Also, I was able to buy my mom's uh, certain car, not any car, the car she actually had her eye on. So I literally I dropped it off to her front door, put some um, nice bow on it, flowers, a card, and just to be in a position to you know, be a blessing than a burden on your parents is everything. And like I said, I'm world. The whole world is different to me right now. So I'm just I'm and I'm I'm blessed right now. So. That's what I'm talking. Well, you've been blessed. All right, let's get that right. You've been blessed. You're just activating your blessing. <laughs> you just activate. You've been blessed. Absolutely, man. Fantastic, man. Uh, congratulations, man. I, I, that's that's Thanks. that's strong, man. I, I can imagine the emotions. I can imagine how you your mom and you and just, you know, maybe it's a surprise and, and all that stuff. I could just, I'm visualizing that now. Like, wow, what a moment um, to, uh, you know, drop the keys off to your mom, man. I mean, I don't think it's, you know, a lot of the reasons, a lot of what I have decided to do has a lot to do with my mom. And I, and I think about, okay, as she gets older, you know what I'm saying? She took care of me. Now it's time for me to take care of her. So right. um, that is, uh, that is super, super powerful, man. Uh, he said, I look at my guy. So he said, Wonderful son, man. Wonderful son. And Felicia God said, Amen. Congrats on your accomplishments as well. And in all of this, all of this, uh, bro, what would you attribute this to, man? Because you, you keep saying books. I mean, you keep, you know, these things. I mean, this, this three year 
uh, metamorphosis, transformation? I think I always, I always had it in me, you know, but I felt like all right, one thing I, I feel like I would have to always do everything myself. Um, now I'm learning. You got to do. You, you need a team. You know, you need a team with you and surrounding yourself with like-minded people. So I cut loose of anyone who's not pretty much moving in my direction and just start looking at things totally different. And forgiveness is everything too. I mean, a lot of people probably did things to me. I will hold that, you know, to against them or. And it will stop my growth. So I just learned to love everyone. I learned to just forgive everyone because some people just don't know any better. And long I, I just keep myself surrounded by people who's moving moving with the same energy as me. And I, it's just total love out here. So that plus I just want – I know it's a bigger why. I think when I learned what my why is, I, um, you know, got on my comfort zone, like speaking more – meeting more people and just, you know, really going after what, what I'm here for. And I know it's a bigger purpose for me and is, you know, inspire the world, inspire these kids, uh, be that father, be that older uncle, uh, brother, just be that person I didn't have. You know, I always wanted someone, you know, like myself when I was younger. So like I got a nephew, my little nephew, Ethan, and I'm literally just, just showing them, being that um, big uncle that I never had, and even with my kids, I'm I'm going hard to show my kids. You know, you don't gotta, you know, you don't gotta, you don't have to work for no one, or you you can. There's so many things I can show them that they can have options for. So it's it's just that I guess I just know my why now, and ever since then I'm I'm going hard at it, and I'm not I'm not about to give up, and. Uh, that's that's basically one reason that I um just going going at it. Now, Antoine, obviously you've been a BBC member. You've uh, you've invested. You sponsored kids to come to some of our events. Um, it, it's been a wonderful journey just to just to be connected to you. Not uh, you know just being your mentor, but also uh, I would say I, I really get a lot of joy out of. The success of others and helping them. I know I, I, you know what I'm saying. You probably feel that way too. Like I already, I, I know I'm good. Now I gotta see how many other people I can help be good. You know what I mean? Like right. that's, that's kind of how I think, man. But but really, when you when you think about the BBC, man, when you think about this whole network of of brothers and sisters who made a decision, right, um, to uh, walk away from the crowd, same way you said, cutting people off or whatever the case may be. Uh, coming together, saying, "Hey, you know, we got something special here." Everybody putting on, so we got something special, uh, and 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 sticking to it, right? We're all at different levels, we're all in different places, uh, but we all see a greater good, man. What, 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 what really are some things that you like to say about the Black Billionaires Club, and even maybe some people that are here uh, that may be watching uh, watching us live here tonight? Well. I learned so much from, you know, members of the BBC, honestly, you know, we are entrepreneurs, we all want more. And it's like, we all, you know, have, have a story and, you know, I may not, you know, say it all the time, but I'm watching everyone's story and I'm, I'm proud of everyone in there because it's like, I can see where we started and like where we're at now. And we're really applying what you've seen. And I'm like I said, I'm watching everyone best believe. And I, I also I have something for almost every member, but you know, I don't I kind of like to surprise a little bit, but um I'm watching everybody body that's on this BPC and I actually gonna I I spill a spill a little bit of it, but every single body that's in the BBC, I know your services, I know basically what you do, and my like I said, my mission is to buy a product or Basically, um, buy a product or services from every single one. That's I'm, I'm, that's my goal to do. I didn't really talk about it yet, but I'm watching everyone. But I'm just proud of everyone, and I just feel like it's like a a brother sisterhood. You know what I mean? So, um, I mean, I just feel like if you're not joining this club, I mean, I, I, it's 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 like if you want more in life, man, you teach so much. I mean, you give so much free. 
but more when you get in this class, I mean, if you want to elevate your life, it's, it's you you can't go wrong. I mean, down from stocks down to just building your business down to just having more confident in whatever you're doing. I mean, I like I said, I just love it, love being part of this group, and I I encourage anyone to join. I mean, if you want you know, if you want better, you want more, you you should join this club. So that's how I feel about it. And one of the things that's coming down the pipe, uh, uh, Mr. Antoine Lowry, <laughs> is uh, uh, one of our goals for um, 2020 is actually to, uh, you know, to start our, our real estate investment group. And I can't think of anyone better than to nominate Mr. Antoine Lowry to lead that charge because ERGJ can't go learn and do everything. And so I want to see in the comments below, does anybody second my nomination uh, to make uh, Mr. Antoine Lowry our, our resident real estate uh, 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 forerunner uh, to help us get this real estate group off the ground and then move it into, obviously, eventually into investing itself. Do I got anybody that's out there that's in the BBC that want to second that notion? Because uh, that's what I'm I'm kind of feeling right now. You guys let me know if you're like, yeah, that's, that's, a, good, that's a good choice. <laughs> that's a good choice. Uh, as he's already closed his first wholesale deal, he's committed to uh, to being great in, in his own right individually with his ICW investments. Uh, he's going to class. He's getting tutelage from Mr. Roberta Hosky, also Miss Lisa Puerto, and whoever else as well. I right, let, let's see. If it, uh, okay, Mark, Mark Dan said y'all four. I got one. Anybody else got? got here? Oh, we got. So, okay, I got a second right here from Miss Vivian Reed. Got, got a second. That's what's up. Mark <laughs> Allison, got a miss a second from uh, Ava Daniels. Uh, Ava Adams got a oh, AV knows. AV knows. Say yeah, we go second as well. Uh, Tamika said, man, thumbs up on that as well. So you know, Antoine, uh, do you accept the the, the challenge, the, the the responsibility? Do you accept the charge, brother? Uh, to go hand in hand and get this real estate group off the ground for the BBC. I definitely accept, and I love, I love that. That's just gonna make me go harder to get more, more training, more lessons, and you know, go harder at this. And like I said, I believe this real estate is the vehicle for me. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm all for it. Thank you. Absolutely, man. Hey, said Vivian said Antoine is a fantastic choice. Now, one thing that I, I thought I wanted to do, I don't know if I want to do that or not. I wanted to wanted to show the people just a little bit about this whole uh, e-commerce dropshipping thing, but I don't know now. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So, um, so appreciate that, man. So Antoine is going to be kind of leading us to charge in 2020, guys, in our real estate. Uh, we, we've always had pillars. We've always had goals. It's just a matter of, of, of bringing them out. Another thing that we're we're taking uh, we're taking to the next level this year will be the launch of the Young Black Billionaires Club. Uh, so we're going to do a lot, we're working a lot with Lisa Parker with myself, uh, and we're going to be really really diving into the youth. That's why we're saying, hey, personal development and financial education. We're moving it from the adults to your children, and obviously you can come with your children to the classes and stuff like that. But it's really at this point for us, we're really like, okay. Uh, we really have to have to train the children in the way they should go so they don't depart from it. So we're really looking forward to uh, to bringing that out. We're, we're going to launch it uh, at the at the extravaganza. Antoine, you're going to be able to come to the extravaganza, man, 425, 20, man. You put it on your calendar. You're bringing the, you're bringing the peeps down uh, to, okay. to Atlanta, Georgia, brother. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Pretty Steve said, man, Mr. Antoine. He's a man in the place in charge of real estate. He should start the Antoine Real Estate Fund. Antoine Real Estate Fund. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, ditto and all that stuff as well. All right. So, man, brother, anything you want to say? Anything you want to add? Man, I, I don't really have a lot of questions. I just want to kind of have a, have, a, have a nice little convo, let people kind of get to know you as as, as from landscape to Mr. Antoine, uh, hear all the great things that you're doing. Uh, is there anything you got coming up? Yeah, any, now, you mentioned speaking. Have you had some speaking engagements? Well, I actually speak. I got a speaking engagement next week at an elementary um, on what Thursday. So that'd be my first speaking engagement. Um, I literally I was at the bookstore. I'd be you know normally I buy three four books at a time. So me, like two of the employees, were talking about different books. Um, and one was a blogger. So she was following me for like six months. So I got an email. Hey. 
um, you know, she wanted to invite me to speak at a school. She was just watching me and stuff. So this be my this will be my first engagement next week at an elementary school. And also next year, I will be speaking on the Real Estate 101 Miss Lisa book. I was I'm, I'm sponsoring that book to an event. And actually, she actually told me the young lady told me to she want me to speak on that book as well in my neighborhood community center. So, I mean, engagements, things are just, like I said, magnet. They're all coming to me. So I'm, I'm very proud and, you know, ready for it. And like I said, even with Miss Lisa, she got my inserts in her book. So that is it's amazing. Um, I thought I had one on the book, on the counter. But, no, so those are two, of, uh, two so far coming up. Okay. Well, here's what I'm gonna do, guys. I want to make sure I do this for those that are that are watching that may have not, may or not, a part of the Black Billionaires Club. I want to run through some things for you real quick and help you understand what these uh, levels are, okay? Uh, and these may change. Uh, we're really doing some uh, some vamping uh, for 2020, so you know you can get grandfathered in for some great things. First level, bronze level. What is that really for? That bronze level is to actually put money in your hands and teach you how to make the money, right? So we have a distribution network that gives you access to a lot of different products, drop shipping eligibility for you to be able to earn money, right? You got to put yourself in position to have access to what I would say is the plug. If you're not connected to the plug, then you don't have the products that you might want to go out and sell, right? And that could be anything. It's not just limited to what we, what I might sell or what somebody else might sell. It's access to the whole network of what we might sell, right? And whatever you might want to sell. But then you have the training, right? So you might want, you you want to sell. You want to be able to go make money. You want to be able to do some exchanges with however way you want to do it, whether it be in person or online or anything like that. But you don't know how, or you're not confident to believe that you can. Because all you guys are salesmen, actually, you just sell when you want to sell, when you want to get your point across. It's just persuasion. You persuade about the things that you're serious or passionate about. So that's the first level, to put money into your hands and to teach you how to get the money. The second level, which is the silver membership, which is the most popular, that brings you into development, which we believe is numero uno, whether it be personal or business, everybody needs development. The problem with many of us in our community, uh, our businesses, and also individually, is that we spend so much time working on, uh, working in that we don't have time left to work on. We spend so much time working in our business that we don't take have time left to work on our business to be able to help our business to improve. That would be development. We spend so much time working in the job, so much time working in the family, so much time working in the home that we don't take time to work on ourselves. And if you and I want things to change, we must change. If you and I want things to get better, we must get better. So we believe personal and also business development, that's your scope. Development is priority, right? Development is a priority. Antoine, talk to, us, talk to us a little bit about why development is so important. You can hear me? Okay, hey. Yeah, develop, development is because, like I said, I, I was, for a while, I was working in my business, like working it, not, not having the time to, you know, develop it or even grow it. Um, and once I took a, you know, take a look back and started to like learn more and how to build a system and really kind of grow it where I have some people working for it, I actually had time to like actually put it, put, put more into it far as, you know, um, advertising more and going out doing some more, you know, advertising and doing more work as in creating different things for my uh, business because once you're working in it and you don't have no time to even, you know, develop it, I mean, you, you just like you're working a job, honestly, and it's going to stay at the same level, but um, you really, development is everything um, if you actually want to grow it. And what about personal development? Oh, yeah, you, you must, you, you need that as well. Um, you need that because, I mean, if you don't, you need, if you're the boss, if you you running running it, you you definitely need a lot of um. You just need more education on whatever you're doing, um, to you know to pass that on to anybody else or to to even your job, 
So you definitely need to, you know, level yourself up and learn learn a lot more on the craft or whatever you're doing um, to kind of get it, you know, get it to a better place. Absolutely, man. And development is so important. So we have personal development, business development. Uh, we have the financial literacy classes to teach you about money. Uh, investment education, investment club eligible. We do have an investment club that's already formed. We've got over 30 members that's a part of our investment club. We pulled together over $10,000 in this investment club that we are investing together. And, there, and everyone is learning uh, so they can also do it individually. So that's so powerful because you, we actually are showing people that black folk can work together. Black folk can deal with money together. And then obviously we talk about money making opportunities. I share with you, uh, money making opportunity with you earlier. We got I, I, I got we got thousands of them. It's just pick, take your pick for some that work for you. Uh, and then at a goal level, uh, that's where you have we have a, we actually are actually going to move the accountability coaching over to the silver level. You get thirty minutes on the silver level. You get an hour uh, on the uh, on the gold level. Once we get that adjusted, there's an annual retirement review we want to do for you guys. Uh, or biannual, that's twice a year, uh, because, you know, retirement is important, and uh, we need to be able to make sure that we are doing what's necessary to follow the market and put our dollars in the proper place in order to capitalize on the market. The Young Black Business Club membership, that's where your children uh, are now, You once you get to the goal of your children, are automatically uh, included in uh, in the Young Black Business Club membership. I mean, all the stuff that we do for the Young Black Business Club, they get to come for free or as a part of your gold membership, and that's where we get family financial education, right? Uh, the children are learning. That's going to challenge the adults to learn, and then now it's going to be a whole bunch of monopoly going on in the household, okay? So that's what we got uh, for those that are interested in leveling up. That those who are interested in studying billionaires and doing what billionaires do, that's what we do in the Black Billionaires Club. So I want to make sure I covered that for those who are still trying to figure this thing out, like what exactly is the Black Billionaires Club? Well, that's what it is, guys. Uh, we studied billionaires, the 12 billionaires, 12 richest people, black people in the world today and how they built their wealth. We learn what they have done and then we mimic what they do. It's really just that simple. OK, it's really just that simple. Well, hey, guys, we got Mr. Antoine Lauer here, Inspire Thy World. And of course, we got to give him an opportunity to inspire thy world, man. Any last words for the peace, man, before we close this show out, Mr. Lowry? The only words for the world is... You know, you can do whatever you want to do. You know, we all have a wealthy mindset. You know, read, you know, go out there and apply your knowledge. Just don't read and think knowledge is going to do anything. Apply it and, you know, show love, man. Show love out here. You know, there's a lot of hate out here. So I promote positive energy to everyone and, you know, just make the world better. So inspire that world, uplift, motivate, and celebrate. And I love you all. So beautiful people, man. I want to make sure you guys get a chance to uh when you get it get a chance if you haven't already. I'm trying to pull it up. That's why it's taking so long. I'm still trying to pull it up. Go ahead and check out the brother's website uh at inspirethatworld.com. Uh you see uh you've seen the website. We'll pull that up for you. I'm trying to navigate everything. Uh you go to inspirethatworld.com, inspirethatworld.com. Go ahead and uh, support a king of his dream, pick you up some nice dope gear. Uh, Ms. Lara, I will say that uh, we are, as we work on, as we get through the services and we get to the products, I'm going to try to figure out how we can get your products onto the uh, bigger uh, store uh, so that people, when they go, they'll see it in doable places, right? They'll see it on your store. They'll see it on the group store, on the club store. And so uh, there'll be a easier, you know, give you more opportunity for it to get visibility. So we'll Thank do that you. as well uh, as we kind of move forward. I've got anything from the any comments from the people uh, here that are joining. Just let me know. I'm gonna give you a couple seconds. You got any questions for Antoine? Any comments? Uh, anything for me? Any questions for me? Any questions about the BBC, uh, the Black Business Club? This is what we do, um, and we've been doing it, and we're gonna keep doing it, and doing it, and doing it well. Uh, we got some things coming on the pipe for 2020. We're just super excited. Uh, number one, that God gives us the opportunity, right? That uh, that that we woke up today, that we can we're in our right mind, and 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 He's he's challenging us to to bring heaven down onto earth uh, and we and, and and we're up to the challenge guys so um we're looking for assistance and help uh we're looking for people to step up right so as, as we move into a new year some of you guys have been progressing you're going to be called on for more responsibility more leadership things like that as well but at the end of the day guys 
It takes a village. <laughs> and it starts with us. Let's build as we climb together. We all we got, people. Matter of fact, we all we need. And thank God that's more than enough. Well, I say thanks so much for joining us here tonight. Mr. Lowry, taking your time to be here on the New Black Wall Street, BBC member uh, and new uh, 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 forerunner for our real estate investment group for the BBC. Congratulations. Thanks so much for taking on that challenge, taking on that charge. Thank we'll you. talk more about that as well. For everybody else, guys, I pray to God that you would, as you get ready to prepare for sleep later on tonight, at whatever time you go to bed, uh, that, that God would just come to, and meet you and give you that dream. Uh, and then as you get that dream overnight and you wake up, I, I pray that you would then take that dream and then put together some goals that you can go and and, and, and put, in, put into action about the dream that God has given you. And I'm telling you, man, a man with a plan, you get that plan. Or a woman with a plan, you get that plan. And then you go execute. You go do something. You go make it happen. There's absolutely nothing. And I mean nothing that can stop you from accomplishing your goal. Because if God be for us, who, 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 who can be against us? You guys have a wonderful night. You know what time it is. Mr. DJ, hit the music. As soon as I can find the music. Where's the music? Oh, Lord. My, oh, there we go. The new Black Wall Street. Thanks to you for joining us. You gave a lot of great tips, but it's time to go. Take the knowledge we shared. Hope you use it and grow. We'll yeah, see you yeah. all there at the next episode of The New Black Wall Street. The New Black Wall Street.